Hi everybody, this is Michael Frost and JL and Jen, we're the Frosts. And we just wanted to take a little while, sing you a few songs of encouragement. I know there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of things happening in our world right now, but uh, God just really impressed it on my heart to uh, get together, share some songs of encouragement with you. All of these songs are songs that I've written, and I always like to try to write songs that encourage people. And so that's what this time is about right now. We're going to share some songs with you that we're very excited to do so. It's been a while since we've got together to sing as a family. We do perform here in Branson, Missouri in various shows, but uh, we still go out as a family when we can and, and sing in churches. And it's been a little while since we've gotten to do that for you guys. But we're excited to share some things with you online right now. We are actually at uh, Presley's Theater, which is where Freedom Fellowship Church is held every Sunday morning, and Jen and I are privileged to uh, help lead worship as part of that. So we're here at Presley's Theater, going to share a few songs, and we're ready to go. This first one is one that we've been singing for a long time now. It says, God's going to give you a testimony, and we want you to be encouraged by this today. So if you know this song, sing it along with us out there. Clap along with us, and let's just make this a time of worship. And he will not rest as long as you walk the narrow way. But through all your heartaches, your sorrow and stress, you're surely gonna see a brighter day. Whoa, for in his presence there is healing in his wings. Sweet Holy Spirit makes you shout and sing. It'll make you wanna stand up and tell. And be a witness of the power that only comes from on high. Hold on, child, you'll get through this trial. God's gonna give you a testimony. Don't let go, this burden's not your own. God's gonna give you a testimony. Take a look at your life. A mighty, a mighty long way. Hold on, child, you'll get through this trial. God's gonna give you a testimony. Don't let go, this burden's not your own. God's gonna give you a testimony. Take a look at your life and you. Tell us how. 
Resurrection and a great reunion. Some morning when he calls for me, God has planned a celebration, and I've got my invitation. It's gonna be a meeting like we've never seen before. Down here we've had some shouting times. I'm excited to know Jesus is mine, but that's just a taste of what's in store. And I wonder who will shout the loudest when we reunite in heaven. Rejoicing like we never had before. Will it be dad when he finds a mama standing at her mansion door? Will it be mama when she sees her children crossing to the shore? Will it be me when I look into the eyes of the master holding to his hand as I cross the chilly river? sing a song the angels cannot sing hallelujah to the highest i wonder who will shout the loudest so just hold my place until i get there keep it spotless as the lamb that was slain no i do not know when I will arrive there, but I've got my ticket for that glory bound train. Oh, to recall the times that we all gathered for camp meeting service in that little church house. I've seen my loved ones shout his praises. Some of them have flown the ages, but I'll be with them again. I have no doubt. I wonder who will shout the loudest when we reunite in heaven, rejoicing like we never have before. Will it be dad when he finds a mama standing at her mansion door? Will it be mama when she sees her children crossing to the shore? Will it be me when I look into the eyes of the master holding to his hand as I cross the chilly river? Together we will sing a song the angels cannot sing. Hallelujah to the highest. I wonder who will shout the loudest. Will it be me when I look into the eyes of the master holding to his hand as I cross the chilly river? Together we will sing a song the angels cannot sing. Hallelujah to the highest. I wonder who will shout the loudest. Hallelujah to the highest. I wonder who will shout the loudest. So we're going to share an a newer song with you. Last year, we did record a brand new CD. We did it right here in Branson, Missouri, so we just kind of did it at a local level, but we did record 10 brand new original songs, and one of the songs was A Plan, A Purpose, and Place that JL sang, and this is another song from that CD, and it's a song titled The Creator. So the Spirit of God moved across an empty place And with His mighty hand He stretched out the heavens 
He separated day and night and lit the stars up in space and continued his great works until day seven. And in that time, God created man. In his image, we were made according to his plan. And here I stand today, looking out across creation, wondering why this world refuses to see the greatness of his works and the beauty of these nations. How could someone say in God they don't believe? From the beginning to this day, he's still the same. The maker of this universe knows me by name. I know the Creator, for he is my Father. His Love 
watching over me of this i am so sure there's a god audience and just for me holding me safe and secure oh what joy it is to know i'm protected by a heavenly host there is nothing i should fear for no This next song is a song titled Three Words, Three Nails, Three Days. I wrote this several years ago. The Easter season is upon us. And uh, I always think about this song and the meaning of it, especially at this celebration time of year. Uh, but I do believe in a risen Savior. I do believe that Jesus died on a cross. I do believe that he was placed in a tomb. And I do believe three days later that he arose. And I also believe he is coming back to take his church home someday. And it's all because of three words, three nails in three days. Three words, it is finished. Jesus wept upon his cross as the earth shook and the veil was torn. Three words, I love you, as he thought of you and I. And the women cried and the angels mourned. And the world never would be the same. For his blood, it was not shed in vain. Three nails, rusty spines, to crucify him that day. And the mob yelled as they watched his blood fall. Three nails, cruel and brutal, marked the end of his life. But it was not the end at all From three crosses that stood high on Calvary No one knew what was to come on day three Day three, three days The hope of the world was locked behind a stone Disciples cry, oh, this cannot be. Three days, that's all it took for God's plan to be revealed. Oh, when that tomb could not be concealed. Now the tomb lies empty to this day. For Jesus, he came for Three words, three 
A lot of you know my daddy was a preacher he pastored a church in rogersville tennessee where i grew up big influence in my life after he passed away um i felt like a torch had been passed along to me to to also go into ministry but i felt my calling was in songwriting and as i've shared with so many of you before this is one of the very first songs i wrote after that experience i was probably 19 20 years old at the time when i wrote this and it still applies to my life today. And I hope that you find encouragement in this song as well. It's a song called That's God. And I do believe that if we keep trusting and looking toward him, that he will bring us through this trying time. And we'll be able to look back and say, God saw us through. Looking back. Do you wonder how you made it this far? That's God. When you realized it wasn't as bad as it seemed. That's God. When you were sitting all alone, not a friend to talk to. Then suddenly a stranger calls with words that uplift you. When it seemed help just come from out of the blue that's God oh that's God he's walking through my darkest night his spirit is descending with power and might and his love it surrounds me and wraps my soul safe and tight oh that's God he made a way eternal life sent his son to die what a great sacrifice who nailed all my sins to a cross brother that's God when your body came out of that sickness Oh, that's God. And when you had no money, then someone provided. That was God. And when you were hungry and tired, and no rest could be found, but now there's food on your table. You have a place to lay down. Just look around at all of your blessings. You know that's all. Through my darkest night, his spirit is descending with power and might. And his love, it surrounds me and it wraps my soul, safe and tight. Oh, that's God, he made a way for eternal life, sent his son to die. What a great sacrifice, who nailed all my sins to a cross. Brother, that's God. Oh, that's God. He's walking through my darkest night. His spirit is descending with power and might. And his love, it surrounds me and it wraps my soul. Safe and tight. Oh, oh that's God. He made a way for eternal life. Sent his son. To die for what a great sacrifice who nailed all my sins to a cross, brother. That's God. I believe He nailed all my sins to a cross, brother. That's Everybody, this is JL Frost. God's got a plan, a purpose, and a place.
tuning in and watching our uh, music today. We hope something that we've sang or said today has uplifted you, been an encouragement to you, or ministered to you in some way. We want you all to know that we're all joining in and praying for you during this time. We wish you nothing but peace, health, safety, and as our Pastor Scott said to us on Sunday morning, let's walk in faith and not in fear. And uh, again, thank you for joining us. We've got a lot of exciting things happening in our ministry that we want to take just a moment to tell you about. In fact, um, the past, I know there's a lot of a lot of things going on across the world right now, but we want to try to focus on the positives and continue to look forward. And what we're looking forward to is a brand new CD. And we've been in Nashville um, for, uh, we've made a few trips to Nashville this winter and started recording that. And it is pretty much completed. We're just waiting on one final touch from a very special guest that we're not going to announce just yet. We're going to hold off, but uh, it's very exciting and we can't wait until that time when we get to share with everybody who that person is. So we actually don't have any new music to share with you from that project just yet, but please stay tuned because we do hope to have that in the coming weeks to share with everybody. But we do want to leave you with a song that has become very personal to us. It's a song titled Choose Life. And some of you are going to recognize this song because it was recorded by the His Songs and it went to number one on the uh, gospel charts back in September of 2019. It is a song I wrote. And uh, we want to tell you just a little bit of our testimony very quickly before we, uh, before we get into this song because it really does revolve around our daughter. Now, when you say choose life, people's brain automatically goes to a certain subject. And this song is not a political statement, even though it does touch on that subject. It also touches on other subjects as well. But uh, you'll understand when we tell you a little bit about our daughter and how God brought her into our lives. You wanna share that with us? Well, sure. Um, well, this story actually starts, this story, story, this story, starts back in 2004, where I was having some routine issues, and my doctor just sent me to uh, a specialist, and the specialist was supposed to actually check me for certain things, and they told me I was fine, and they sent me on my way, and then in 2008, um, I had met this cute little Bella right here and we were dating seriously uh, and talking about possibly starting a family 
And I went again just for a routine doctor's checkup and throughout the questioning, uh, they determined that I had something called PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, and if it goes untreated for too long, you don't know if you're gonna be able to have children. And that's exactly where I was standing at that moment. And so I went and I talked to him and he said, well, honey, that's hardly a deal breaker. And then he married me to prove it. Um, and so we were married for what, like four blissful months. And I remember we were singing in a Christian theater uh, in Legion Forge. And um, I just remember being so overcome with this person that it was hard to even sing. And we got to the mission and I got back to my dressing room and I just kind of collapsed onto the table top and said, And it's one of the very first times I heard God all of this And he said, well, why are you trying to carry it? It's not your burden And I said, God, I'm going to lay this at your feet, and I'm not going to pick it up again. And I went back out at intermission, after intermission, and we sang the second half of that concert. And I sang with this renewed joy that I hadn't felt in a very long time. And... After the show was over, the concert was over, we went out into the lobby to tell everyone goodbye and thank you for coming. And this man came right up to me and he said, young lady, I have a word from the Lord for you. And I was like, well, first of all, thank you for calling me young. Second of all, let me hear it. And he said, you have the spirit of Hannah. And I went, oh, that's so nice. I was so embarrassed. I couldn't remember who Hannah was. <laughs> Don't worry, I knew she was a good guy. It's not like she was Jezebel or something. So I knew we were on the right side of things. So as soon as he left, I ran back to my dressing room and I opened up my Bible and I, I looked up Hannah and Hannah was Samuel's mom. And here she was watching all these people around her start their families and she was barren. And so she did not get wallowed down in the mire of this burden. She got down on her knees and she said, God, give me a child. And that's exactly what God did. God gave Hannah Samuel. And then she sent Samuel right back to the temple to serve God. And look at all the mighty things God accomplished through Samuel. And I was like, oh, wow, cool. And so we got home that evening. And uh, I, I won't say I don't know what told him to take a pregnancy test, but I did. And we found out that very night that Jane was on her way. And I won't lie, I laid down in front of the refrigerator and cried for about three days because I thought, we're never going to sleep again. It's okay, she likes to sleep now, we're good. Um, <laughs> so we were um, about four months into our pregnancy when we went to find out what we were going to be having. And I was so excited because I just knew we were going to have a boy. Um, and not only did we not get a boy, we got a really, really wonderful gal. Um, who, who likes Disney princesses a lot, at least she did. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. So, uh, but it was not the, in the same sentence, the nurse didn't even take a breath. She said, but she has cysts on her brain. And we went, whoa. And she said, if these cysts don't dissipate in the next four weeks, you're looking at a child with a very, very serious um, Problem. And we went, we went from joy to fear all in one breath. And the doctor took us into this padded room and he was like, We want to tell you in time so you can make your choice. And we were like, Whoa, whoa, whoa. This child is not a choice. She's a miracle. And we're going to choose to believe that. And we went home and we called our moms and we started the commission that very evening. And in four weeks we went back and those cysts were completely gone. And in July of 2010, this beautiful baby girl was born and she is just a delight and so much fun in our family and in our marriage. And so, yeah, not only do we want you to choose life, but we want you to choose life in Jesus Christ because this is the only fulfillment you're ever going to get. There's a woman crying softly 
heavy heart and a worried mind. As she wonders how she'll care for this precious unborn child. Somebody said to her, you have a choice in this day and time. In spite of all her uncertainties, the choice becomes clear in her mind. She chooses love. When it seems there's no other choice you can find Remember God created us to prosper and thrive The choice becomes clear every time Choose life There's a man crying softly, a heavy heart and a worried mind as he ponders a decision to give up and end it all this time. Somebody said to him, you have a choice, find the strength inside. In spite of all his uncertainties, the choice becomes clear in his mind. He chooses life. Remember God created us to prosper and thrive. The choice becomes clear every time. Choose Here's what it's really about. There's a world crying softly with heavy hearts and worried minds. We've forgotten there's a bond of life. Through Jesus Christ We all have a choice Before we leave this world behind Jesus is alive So now is the time to decide Choose life Full and abundant Precious gift from heaven above Life, in spite of all of its trials It's God's manifestation of marvelous love When it seems there's no other choice you can find Remember God created us to prosper and thrive The choice becomes clear every time Jen and I want to thank you once again for tuning in and worshiping with us. Again, we hope we've said or sang something to uplift you today. If you need encouragement, if you need prayer, feel free to reach out to us. All of our information is online. We have a website, frosttrio.com. You can find our email there. You can find our phone number there. You can also find our music there. We would love for you to take our music with you. All the downloads are there available for purchase as well. And if you would like to tune in to Sunday morning morning worship that Sunday morning, morning, Sunday morning, morning worship morning. that we're a part of. Um, I know Pastor Scott would welcome you to do so out there as well. We are Freedom Fellowship Church, and you can find us online. Just just search for that in your Facebook search bar, and we'll be uh, on at 10 a.m. Sunday morning. That's Central Time. Central Time, Good, not Eastern Time. I know. God bless you. We love you.